Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you how you can create animated brushes in GIMP and I will be creating this uh, animated brush which will allow us to paint matchsticks and this one has a little shadow and the other one does not have that it's entirely up to you if you want to do this with a shadow or not you see how painting with that brush works let's try the other one you see here we don't have a shadow I find that dropping a little shadow gives a little bit more realistic effect but like I said I'll show you how you can do that if you don't want to you can create one without any shadows like this one here and before I actually start creating the brush I want to mention that the things that I told you in the previous two videos about creating custom brushes apply also to the animated brushes which means that if you want to create a, a brush that contains an image like that in this case this matchstick you want to create that brush in a RGB color space and um, if you want to create an animated brush that uh, you want to paint with colors from color selection dialog you need to create the brush in the uh, grayscale color space if I create this brush in a grayscale color space it will be black and white but I'll be able to use colors here right now I can still use colors from the gradient but this will be pointless because I want to keep this image of a matchstick so let's close this now file open recent I open this animated brush project and here let's turn the quick mask mode off you see I have taken an image of a matchstick here and I have selected it now I'm not going to do this in front of you already have discussed the select tools and ways we can select in this example I use the foreground select tool then a little bit of the fuzzy tool and I uh, also use the quick mask mode with a paintbrush to uh, select this object I'm not doing this in front of you because it's uh, really time consuming in this case it's not a very good photograph and it was really hard to select this good but like I said if you watch the videos you already know how to select objects and isolate them so right now after I have selected it I will go to select feather selection and I'll feather it with let's say four pixels click OK and then I'm going to hit Control I or invert the selection you can do that from here too and then I'm going to add an alpha channel here and after that I'm just going to hit delete and Control Shift A to deselect and you see I have isolated my matchstick here and the next thing I'll do is just duplicate it four times so we have four or uh, five layers here now something that you need to know is that here I'm saving time I'm just going to rotate each matchstick on a different layer and create that animated brush but if you want to create a more realistic animated brush it will be good to take two uh, five uh, different images of different matchsticks isolate them like that and then uh, arrange them and create that animated brush here I'm just saving a little bit of time next thing I'll do is I'm going to shift click here and uh, make all this lock all these layers so when I resize them right now I'll be able to resize them all at once so click on the scale tool click here click on this clip here and just grab the handles let's move this a little bit and make it this big click scale and it goes to work you see now I'm going to click on the move tool 
and uh, of course before that let's shift click here to remove that clip and be able to modify each layer individually and now I'm just going to start rotating each of these matchsticks in the rotate tool let's say one of these will be like this the other one like that let's select the next layer click on it let's make this one look like that and this one let's rotate it like this and now let's select the move tool again and position them the way we want let's leave them like this now I'm going to select the crop tool here and I'm going to crop this image like this and then a little bit more like this and now if you want to drop shadow on each of these matchsticks let's crop it a little bit more here on this side okay we go to filters lights and shadow drop shadow and here I'll enter 0 here 30 for blur radius and for opacity I'll enter 70 I'll click OK and then I'll select the next layer filters reshow click OK the next one I'll just click repeat the next one repeat or we can use the control uh, keyboard shortcut control F like this one and now I'm going to click here and merge down again merge down and now each of these layers will be a different step of our or frame of our animated brush we can create as many as we want the more we create the biggest uh, the bigger the var uh, variety that we are going to have with our animated brush now let's go to file save as and let's just leave it like this animated brush but here from the file type we'll select GIMP brush animated now I'm going to browse for folders here select my brushes and click save and here we get this dialog which controls the behavior of our brush now the only thing I'm going to change here is this ranks I'm gonna match the ranks uh, to the number of cells which is five and I'm going to leave it to random here now this one is pretty complex dialog and I'm going to put a link in the description to the user manual of GIMP the official website where you can read how this dialog works and um, like I said it's uh, kind of complex but it gives you the ability to take control of how this animated brush behaves because right now we don't really have that much control if we just leave this like that but still we will be creating a pretty good animated brush but if you're interested in this and want to take full control of how your brush behaves you should visit that link that is in the description and uh, learn how to do that.
save here and now let's close this make a new one click OK and let's refresh and uh, I think this is the latest one yes let's grab it grab our brush tool and start painting with that brush so you see how this works very easy very quickly we created this animated brush in GIMP maybe this one is bigger image so if I downsize it a little bit like this and select it you see how this works so that's it for this video and if you like these tutorials subscribe leave a comment rate the videos I appreciate all your feedback and uh, bye for now